Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and today I'm going to show you how to do the snowfall crochet technique. To do this technique, um, you're just going to color, do a little bit of color changing and I don't want this to scare you, it's, it's easier than you think and it just takes a little bit of practice and then you will be doing awesome. So I started with a sample of, double, of a row of double crochet um, this is just a sample. You're going to want to uh, read the pattern that you're working on um, and then this will help you work on the snowfall technique that comes after. So the, on the first row of the snowfall stitch you're going to work one single crochet. Now you're going to work a little snow in the next stitch. And to do this you're going to work just the very beginning of a single crochet. So basically just the V. So you're going to grab it and pull it up and then drop it. And then finish the stitch with your main color. This is going to make it super loose, super weird. So it takes a little bit of practice to get it. But you're going to have to pull it tight every time because it's going to want to get loose. And then you can see that it leaves that V that looks like knit. And so once you've finished it with the main color, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. And you have two options here. And there's pros, to con pros and cons to each option. The first option is to work it inside, as you just saw me do. You're going to lay your second color over the stitch and you're going to work it inside as you go along, just on top. Now, the, the pro to this is it makes this stitch look super nice. It keeps everything really neat. It keeps the um, it keeps you from having strands running along the back. The, the, the con is that you can kind of see it, which I don't think is terrible. I prefer this way. But if that really, really bothers you, then what you can do is lay it behind. So you're just going to drop it and then work single crochet as normal, like this. And then when you're ready for it again, you pick it up and pull it over like that. The con to this, I don't know. I personally, I don't love the yarn running on the back and I feel like the V looks a little bit wonky if, if this yarn isn't like tucked up there and kept straight. But that's for you to decide. You can do both, you can practice it both ways and decide which you like, which you prefer to do. Um, if you're going to work it with it carried, and this is carrying it, is working it within the stitch, every time you're done working those three, you want to tug it just a tiniest bit. You don't want to tug it so tight that it's made this stitch shrink, but you want to tug it tight enough that it um, it kind of presses those stitches together and it makes it less noticeable in between your stitches. So remember to drop that second color, you're only working that V part of the single crochet and then working around. So this stitch takes multiples of four because this is the first stitch one and then three in between for each one. So multiples of four for whatever project you're working on. Um, and you always need to walk, work bottom up. Um, top down will give you, I mean you can if you want to, but they'll be upside down. So this is the first row of the snowfall stitch. Okay, so once you reach the beginning of the row, you're going to join with a slip stitch. And then the next row, after you've worked this, is a round of double crochet. So you're just going to work double crochet in each stitch around. Whatever your project may be, you're going to work double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so for the next round, so we've worked the one snowfall and the one double crochet. For the next round, to, and this is only if you want to offset, you you don't have to do this, you can just continue repeating this row of working a single crochet first and then the snowfall stitch. But what I like to do is I like to um, 
offset. So work three and then work it and then it's worked in the middle in between the two. So there's three in between and then it's worked in the one. So that way the snowfaller it's kind of off center, polka dotty looking. And then once you work that second color stitch, you work three single crochet. And then you could just continue repeating the pattern around. So you work a you work a row of snowfall where you work the second color and then three second color, a row of double crochet, and then the off-centered row. So that's all you need to do to work the snowfall. And this actually can be worked in turning rows. So let me show you how to do it in turning rows. Okay, so to work the snowfall technique turning, you're going to do, um, it's still in multiples of four, but you're going to do multiples of four plus, plus two for turning. So I have a little sample of a, a row of double crochet. So the reason this works is because of the double crochet row in between each of the snowfall rows. So um, it will always be facing the one way. So it will have a wrong and a right side. But um, it will have one nice, nice side. And so all of the V's will line up. So work three. And then you do, you do the same technique across your piece as you would with it in the round. The only difference is that you will have to cut your second color with every round because you're starting on one side and you're ending on another when you come to pick it back up. Okay, so we went all the way across and now we can turn and we can work our row of double crochet. Okay, so we worked our double crochet row, we're turning, and so you will need to cut the yarn and start back over here with each row. So I would recommend if you're doing, for instance, a long scarf, instead of doing it this way, I'd recommend doing it long way and doing sh a few long rows instead of lots of little short rows to make it long. Um, so you can weave these in or you can use them as fringe on the ends of your scarf. So yeah, so turning is similar. You just are going to need to cut and expect a little more ends if you're doing it that way. But yeah, I hope you enjoy making the snowfall stitch. It just has a really beautiful look to it, a beautiful technique. And I will see you next time.